Hey Devils, I hope this video finds you and your families safe and healthy, and I hope that you guys had a wonderful holiday season. So today I want to share with you another one of my favorite parks in the North Atlanta area. Now, as you know, I have been exploring all these different areas since I moved back to Georgia, and all these cities are doing a really good job of, you know, creating different parks and trails and just all sorts of places for people to do things outdoors. And right now, during COVID, that is what we need. <laughs> so I'm going to share with you some of the gems that I enjoy just to give you an idea of what the places and parks and trails look like so that you can know if it's somewhere that you want to explore. So today I'm going to share with you one of my favorites in the North Atlanta area and it's called Shake Rag Park. So this park is a little bit hidden. I actually found it in a Google search and I would have never known it was there if it wasn't for me searching for it um, and searching for parks in the area. But it's actually situated between two schools but it is a public park. It's got a parking lot uh, for about I would say about 20 cars but it's got its own bathrooms, it's got several trail systems, it's got a pond, I've seen people fishing there. Um, it's a smaller park but it is so beautiful and it kind of makes you feel like you are completely like out in the wilderness, out, you know, off the grid. Um, doesn't really make you feel like you're in the city. Of course, it's in the suburb of Atlanta, <laughs> so you kind of are off the grid. But, you know, even, even with it being in a metropolitan area, it's really cool that it's right here. One of the reasons I absolutely love this park is it's got a little bit of something for everyone. There's a playground. Actually, there's two playgrounds for children. There's a pond that you can sit at and they've actually created you know more and more additional seating areas around different parts of the pond there's also a couple trails that you can go and explore if you're just trying to do something local or just trying to find something that's very pretty and it actually has my favorite thing that I'm not gonna ruin the surprise because you have to watch the video but uh, when you watch you'll see at the end my favorite part about this park this is one of the parks that I have actually enjoyed through every season it looks so different in the spring and the fall and the winter so uh, my favorites are in the spring and fall it is just a very very pretty park. Now I'm going to be continuing to make these videos. Um, I just have to edit them and finding the time to edit uh, since I do everything myself makes it a little bit difficult. So thank you for bearing with me as I you know create these videos and edit them. Um, and some good news, a lot of these videos that I made, I've actually captured a lot of content in you know the next probably four or five parks. Um, but after that, I actually have gotten a stabilizer, so my videos in the future will actually be a little bit clearer as I walk through. So it won't be as bouncy but I like making these videos for you guys because sometimes before you go somewhere you kind of just want to see what is it all about what is there is it something that I even want to do so this helps introduce what these parks look like and gives you a little bit of insight of something that you can do during these weird strange pandemic days um, and give you something safe to do outdoors Anyways, I hope you enjoy, and I'm getting new subscribers all the time, and I just want to say thank you so much. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm constantly making new videos. I am a dabbler by nature, hence the name Dabblerella, um, and I am constantly trying new things and going new places, and there's a lot of places that I need to go back and find the footage. I've gone to a ton of national parks throughout the U.S., and I plan to share all of it with you uh, when I get the time to edit. Um, but in the meantime, as I'm trying new equipment and you know trying out these new places, I want to share it with you. So please click that subscribe button and stay tuned and I'll have videos for you every few weeks and share some of the things that I do and hopefully inspire you to do your own. Thanks so much Devils. Enjoy. So when you first get to Shake Rag Park you will see this parking lot with about 20 spaces for you to park. There's restrooms here. That it's right next to this playground. There's actually another playground for younger kids as well that I'll show you. But lots of really cute fun stuff here and it's right next to the lake with all these different picnic areas as well as you know different areas for seating to just take in all the beautiful nature views they just added this dock not that long ago but there are people that come and fish here so you'll kind of see people fishing either on along the sides or on um, this new dock but there's a little seating area if you just want to come and enjoy the view or read a book I've come here during the summer and it is just so pretty because the sunset reflects off of the mirrored lake and it is just really a sight to see. If you keep going past the dock, there is a trail. I'm not gonna show you the entire trail here, but I just wanted to kind of show you that it is here. It kind of loops around in this wooded area. I'm really pretty and, and very naturistic and it kind of goes next to the fire station that is up the road. But there's different areas of seating. Again, some areas right next to the lake. So if you just wanted to come in, you know, again, enjoy the view or, you know, sit off, it's, it's a very nice area to go. 
Um, but going right back to the lake area, there's all sorts of wildlife. You know, you'll see blue herrings and geese and ducks and all sorts of beautiful wildlife. I got this really pretty view of this bird walking and doing a lap around the lake. So I wanted to include it because it's just really pretty when you're sitting there and enjoying it Now this is what it looks like from the parking lot You're gonna go right uh, towards this fenced in area as you can see here And there's multiple different trailheads I'm gonna show you the way that is my favorite and at the end there's a fun special treat But, but basically here you can either go left or you can go straight. I suggest going straight. This is gonna take you to the um, trailhead for the area that I'm going to I'll show you and I'll show you a little bit about all of it but basically when you see this this is you're in the right place this is a trail entrance for Shake Reg Park and this kind of shows you who has helped make it happen but you go down a little bit of a sidewalk paved area and then it's going to turn into a trail uh, there's a creek that kind of goes across from it and this is a really pretty park to come to throughout the year throughout the different seasons but my absolute favorite is to come in the spring when things are just blossoming because there's meadows and you'll see baby deer and all sorts of stuff but right here to the right if you keep going straight you will see uh, this wooded area at certain times of the year it literally looks like a fairy tale because it is just so green and so lush and just so untouched that it is just really pretty to look at Then getting right back on that trail, you're going to continue going straight. You will see on the left of this trail, there is actually a uh, fenced-in area, and I will show you where that takes you to later, but it's basically the track and field area that you are kind of parallel with. But you're just going to keep going straight. You're going to go over this little bridge, and if you see this, you are going the right way. But there's all sorts of these cute little, you know, bridges and boardwalks, and it's just really, really cute. But as you can see, uh, while you're on this trail, I think it's just really quaint and charming and it feels like you're kind of off the grid because it's got all this you know, greenery all around you. It's very lush at different side times of the year. As you can see, just different kinds of foliage that is there. And when you keep going straight, you'll see some trailheads on the left and right. This uh, one on the left, you can just keep going past. I'll show you that later. That's gonna take you up top that I was showing you by the fenced in area. But continue going straight. The trail has some different areas that you can sit uh, down, so you can take a break if you need it, or just, again, I've seen people sitting there and just reading a book. And then you'll come by this beautiful boardwalk. This is another one of my favorite areas of this, and just one of the reasons why I love this uh, trail, because it's just so, again, makes you feel like you're just in the middle of nowhere, and just, I don't know, it, it makes you feel like you've kind of gone back in time, because it's so untouched and unruly but there is a creek and if you look closely i won't show you here but there are little fish and just little things that live in there and it's just super super cute and then you'll just keep going on this boardwalk that is going over this uh, meadowy area and during the spring it's so pretty to walk on this because there's all sorts of flowers that are blooming as well as a variety of different colors of butterflies and it's just it's a really really cute little area to walk through so once you get off the boardwalk you're gonna get back on the trail and as you can see here it just again it makes you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere which is so nice to be in a metro city and if you have that feeling that you're like just you know in the middle of nowhere but it's gonna bring you to this area where the, you'll see another little trailhead and you can go straight, you can go left, or you can go right. On the right, there is just a little, you know, another area that goes into the woods. I'm not gonna show you that, uh, but if you wanted to add some additional steps, you can go that way. The way I'm gonna tell you to go is left and you'll know that you're going the right way once you see this boardwalk that is going over the creek and to the left side. I think the reason that my I really like this park is because it really feels very fairy tale esque and just, you know, it feels like it's like in the middle of a storybook. It's just so green and foliage and untouched, and there's just so many different parts of it between the boardwalks and the lake and the meadows and the, you know, butterflies. And this area specifically of the trail is where you'll see a lot of deer, especially in the early spring, you'll see a lot of baby deer. So I feel like it's like a baby ground or a breeding ground, excuse me, <laughs> or a baby ground. But basically, you uh, just will continue going up, and this is probably the hardest part, and I put that in quotes because it's not too difficult, but if you're injured or uh, you know maybe even older, this might be a little bit more difficult because it's a little bit uphill, but nothing too crazy. It's basically just gonna go uphill and loop you around to the, my favorite part that is coming up, so continue to stay tuned. 
but you know as you go through again during the different seasons this is just a very very pretty part of the park and you can see a lot more of the creek when it's not so you know overgrown but even with the overgrown foliage it's just a very pretty part there's all sorts of old trees and, and big trees and small trees and, and different kinds of plants and, and such, as you can see here. Now I won't show you the entire trail going up, but I wanted to show you parts of it just cause it is really, really pretty. And it reminds me a lot of, I've got the pleasure to go to Hawaii, both Maui and Kauai. And a lot of the trails look like this. It was very, especially in Kauai, it's very green foliage. And then there's really red trails and it kind of has that same kind of feeling. Um, except this one is also got a tie in with, you know, like when you go up to Sequoia in California or different areas of that. The area is just so versatile. Anyways, you'll come down and you will see this trailhead where you can go left or you can go right. If you go left, you will quickly find out that it dead ends. There's just a sewer there, so you're gonna wanna take a right when you get to this. And you'll know you're going the right way because it will take you to this kind of grassy area that kind of reminds me of the yellow brick road on Wizard of Oz, except, you know, it's green grass. <laughs> Again, you'll see more variety of trees here if you just pay attention to the small details on this beautiful path. And then you'll see these two little creeks that you're gonna go over, these little bridge boardwalks, and it's just so serene to be out here. Again, it's just so quiet and peaceful and just really nice to get away from the loud big city. And once you get over this second little boardwalk bridge, you will come over to a bend, which brings you to my absolute most favorite part of this park, which is that it is parallel to a farm. And it is just so beautiful to come and look at. It's got all these different animals like donkey and there's uh, different cows. And a lot of times you can actually hear these cows mooing as you're coming down the trail, which is just makes it even more unique. But it's just really pretty to come look at. There's something about, you know, kind of feeling like you're on a homestead or living off the land and this area is just so so beautiful and animals tend to make you feel very present and I actually have made a little bit of a new friend uh, donkeys are some of my favorite animals Once you're done swooning over all the animals, uh, you can continue on the trail, which is this little grassy area. And if you continue going straight um, and don't turn at all, it will actually bring you back to the parking lot that we started at down that paved way and into the parking lot next to the lake. But I'm gonna show you a different route just to kind of give you an idea of uh, another route that you can take back to see something new. So when you continue going straight, you'll come back to the trailhead that we saw before you took a left to loop up on that hill. Um, but one of the reasons I really love this park is just that, I mean, just look at it. It's got a feeling when you are there. It's just so serene and quiet and it's got all these different foliage that just doesn't even feel like you were in Georgia. <laughs> I really love it. Um, but basically you'll keep going straight like you're going back to the parking lot. Uh, but when you get to this little trailhead here, instead of going straight, which is the way we came, we're gonna take a right that is gonna take you up this little hill and I'm gonna show you uh, where this brings you out to. It's very short, it is a, a small little hill nothing too crazy. There's some areas that you can sit at as you go up to different little uh, seating areas. Once you come to the end of this, you know, short trail, you will actually come to the track and field area that I mentioned before. Right off the trail, you'll see these beautiful dogwood trees that are blooming in this video, which is just so pretty, you know, and they are blooming at different times of the year. But this area has different practice soccer fields and it also has an astroturf soccer field and um, I know that they have actually pickup games on the weekend because my brother plays but the field is made out of astroturf and you'll see people throughout the week and uh, the weekend obviously when school is out you'll see people um, running the track and there's actually a playground at the end there that I'll show you here shortly this is the other playground that I had mentioned to you at the beginning of this video, and this is for younger age children. So if you are looking for something that is a little bit more, for a little bit more younger ages, this is where you will come for them. 
But if you go past this little younger playground, you will see this path that will take you back to the lake and the parking area that we started out at. You will see it off in the distance. So just continue going straight along this fenced in area and hopefully it will look familiar to you and back to where we started. So those are my favorite parts about Shake Rag Park, but there is also all those other little trailheads and you know little nooks that you can go off of, as well as the one that I showed you to the left that you can continue walking if you wanted to add some additional steps. But wanted to share my favorite parts about this park and encourage you to get outside. Have fun, dabbles.